this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do an awesome flourish that I use all the damn time. <laughs> the beautiful thing about this flourish is there's actually no way to really end it, so you can do whatever you want with it, which makes it super cool. <laughs> It's kind of like knowing how to do a lot of flourishes without knowing how to do a lot of flourishes. Alright guys, before we dive into tutorial view, make sure that you subscribe if you're not already and like this video, because with our powers combined, I could get one of them fancy plaque thing in the bobbies, you know, you need 100k for it, and I'm sure, I'm sure we can get there. Alright, with all that said and done, let's go into <clears throat> tutorial view. Alright guys, so here we are in tutorial view, and for this I'm just going to be teaching you the main body of the flourish, which looks like this. You shuffle the cards up like that, goes all the way around, and then you peel out one card directly from the middle. Now, this card that you peel out from the middle is actually the bottom card, so you can use it as a reveal. You can see the seven of hearts there as I go through all the moves. That seven of hearts ends up surely, boom, coming straight out of the middle, and it looks pretty dope. Now, grab your deck of cards and follow along, because I'm going to go over this like once, as detailed as I can, and hopefully you'll be able to uh, re-watch it and fully understand. After this, I'll go through it a little quicker, uh, and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to at least somewhat be able to do the flourish. <laughs> so check it out. <clears throat> it starts like this. First of all, I reach into this overhand grip like that. I want to make sure that my pointer finger is free. And the pointer finger on this hand is going to peel off a small packet. The pointer finger on the top hand is going to peel up another packet. And this allows me, because my thumb will be contacting all three, to swivel this bottom packet around enough that I can actually use my middle finger, <laughs> my middle finger and my thumb to then clip, uh, to then clip this packet here. So I'm going to be like grabbing that packet out like this. And I'm just going to bring it all the way around. And you'll find that bringing it around is actually very easy. Uh, it's not too difficult. Once you get it around, you're going to sort of use your pinky and put it into like this straddle grip so that your thumb is free again, because then you're going to lift up another packet on the top here with that pointer finger again. And now because your thumb's free, you can bring it back here with your other thumb, allowing you to take control of the two packets on this one here and just sort of freeing this packet that you're going to bring out and around to the top. Once that goes to the top, this bottom one, you're going to use your pinky to pull down on that so you can clear that and place it here. Ooh, nearly dropped them all. <laughs> so as we start out, we lift, we turn, we grab that packet, bring it around, lift out another packet, all right, straddle, and then from here you're going to clip, bring that around, and then your pinky pulls down to clear this, and you realign them as best as you can. And now your thumb is going to act as a rotation point where you rotate this around until you can clip it and then you're going to go all the way around and because of this straddle it lets you open this packet out allowing you to bring this around and then nest it into your to this sort of like weird claw grip like this the reason is because when you bring it back under that pointer finger will now allow you to strip one card out from the middle and this packet here you just place it on the top and you steal this at the same time so we have it in this overhand grip, we peel, we peel, we bring this packet around, we lift this off, we bring this packet around here like that, this one goes over, under, then we do the rotation, which goes all the way around so that I can grip it like that, and then I like to like place this here, and then try to steal this in almost the same motion. So the flourish is not as difficult as it seems, but it is difficult to explain. So I'm going to go over it one more time in just the, and sort of like a medium pace. Uh, and hopefully you'll be able to use this part, this portion to follow along and, and understand. So, all right, let's start it off. We have it here, we're peeling a packet and then lifting up another packet, rotating so that we can clip between the thumb and middle finger, bringing that packet around and then with the pointer on the right hand, lifting up another packet, allowing us now to place this in straddle and our thumb to take over these two packets. Okay, so that we can separate this packet here, bring it all the way around and place it to the top. Use your pinky on the bottom to pull this one around and under, and then execute the swivel where it goes all the way around your thumb. You're just wrapping it all the way around and then nesting it into uh, this awkward grip. That allows you to then pull this card out, 
as you sort of just turn this packet over, lay it on top and then steal the card. Now just a quick reminder that you can just re-watch the instruction over and over again until you get it right. There's no point in me trying to keep re-explaining the same stuff, so just I encourage you to watch this video as many times as it takes to get the hang of it. And uh, with that all said and done, bye. Enchanté.